Hey guys, Katie Taylor here from ScrappingKatie.com, where I show you how to preserve your family's memories through the art of scrapbooking. For the month of October here on my channel, I have a fun 30 days of sketches where we take a sketch a day and show you our take on it. So the first sketch is by Jessica Michaels, and here is a look at that sketch. Just first off, I usually like to tell you what I like about the sketch, tell you what I plan to do with the sketch, and then I always revisit the sketch at the end of my video to kind of see what stayed the same, what I changed. I just find that it's kind of helpful just to kind of talk things through. So right off the bat, I love the shapes that are kind of in a diagonal. And then I love, of course, the watercolor background and then the strip of the two square photos. I love that it's Polaroid style and then that the title and the journaling are kind of kept right under those photos. The photo that I have chosen is actually a five by seven. And so, and it is portrait. So I'm thinking that my sketch is going to be something like this, but we will see. So I will gather my things and we can get started. So for this layout, I pulled out some of my scrap pieces from our brand new collection, Freshly Baked, which it has to do with holiday baking. You can see the bright colors, but I'm really loving that graph paper. And I'm going to be using this five by seven photo of our trip to New York, as well as the sticker sheet from the Freshly Baked. So I am starting with a piece of white daisy cardstock and of course that largest scrap piece. I did try the polka dots, but I really like the graph paper and I'm just trying to decide which way it's going to go. I've decided to tear an edge and then I'll put it flush with the left side of that white daisy piece of cardstock. Now off camera, I actually stopped my camera and stopped recording so you didn't get to see this process. So I'm actually going to demonstrate how I did that with just a little scratch piece of paper. So I adhered my graph paper down and then took the texture paste. This is the opaque matte and basically just tried to hide that seam so the seam isn't so stark between the pattern paper and the cardstock. And then I'm going to take the gold confetti stars and basically use it like glitter. Just sprinkle that all over and then I'll kind of let that dry a little bit, kind of move it around, uh, shake off the excess stars and then try to fill in the holes by picking up the excess and then just pushing it down with my finger. And believe it or not, it really, really looks um, good and it really works well. So being that I told you that I liked the Polaroid look to that photo, I've trimmed my five by seven just a little bit. So I'll have that Polaroid at the bottom. I do end up changing that in the end, but just thought I would get that done. I love that the colors in the photo are really represented well with these scratch pieces from the Freshly Baked. Now I do want some tags coming out from the side of that. So I've pulled out one of my die cuts and then die cut that off camera as well as my title and the title is big and then I'm going to add some stickers to finish the title off. So now I know that I want to matte this photo. Decided to go with the Flamingo and just get that matted down again with a tiny mat. So an eighth of an inch and then I'm going to trim everything off. And then I'll take a look at it and see what other photo mats need to happen. So you won't remember, but on the sketch, there were a couple of photo mats as well as some tabs. And that is where my little thin cut tags are going to come in. Again, I'm using the yellow and the pink from the Freshly Baked. And then I'm going to mat that big title on that scarlet piece of cardstock. Just going to apply some adhesive here and get that adhered down and then I am going to trim that same sixteenth of an inch all the way around and then by using that bee I can place the insides of the bees perfectly on the inside using some liquid adhesive and then just pop that bee out and then you have it. So I wanted some stenciling. I have some slimline stencils. There's a star and then some polka dots. 
I think I'm going to use the stars, so I'm going to get that adhered down to my glass mat, and then my layout adhered down to my glass mat as well, so it doesn't move. Now, I want the stars to come out from that top right corner, or that top left corner of the photo, and then the bottom right, and I will be using sapphire ink. I think it's going to bring out that street sign really nicely. So I'm just taking one of my blending brushes and then spreading that sapphire ink all over those stars. And again, I'm going to repeat the process down at the bottom right. And believe it or not, just by taking just a little bit of extra care, I was actually able to stencil over those confetti stars that are glued down. There was one or two that came off, but for the most part, they just stenciled right over it. So I have decided to actually get rid of the Polaroid. I told you that in the beginning. And then just adhere that big down to the end and then add 3D foam tape on that entire piece. And then that will allow me to tuck in these little tags in from behind. And it's also going to add some dimension to this layout. So anytime you have like stenciling, then of course those cardstock pieces and then the confetti, if you use 3D foam tape, it just adds an extra layer. I did decide to add some extra stars and then I'm going to get that layer or that big huge photo and part of my title glued down. Now the head that you saw come into frame is actually our youngest son and he decided to relive this photo a little bit by checking out all the details. I am going to trim those little tags just a little bit so they'll tuck behind. And then I'm going to pull out the sticker sheet. So the other part of my title is actually, again, from the Freshly Baked. And it says, Living the Life. But of course, I'm going to have big in between there. So I'm just going to add 3D foam tape to my layout base. And that's going to allow me to take those sticker titles and just add a little bit of extra liquid adhesive on the ends and then adhere them directly down to my layout base. And of course, in the end, that title will read, Living the Big Life. I contemplated putting city under big, but I just couldn't find acrylic shapes that would fit. I definitely want some more texture, so I've pulled out my acrylic stars and I am grabbing some of the yellows I'm going to be using three at the top and three at the bottom. And again, I'm just trying to find various sizes just to kind of lead your eye on the layout. I did add those to some glue dots as well as I used some red enamel dots. You can see those again off camera. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. After adding some journaling lines over here on the right, and then I think I'm finished. So I'm gonna bring the sketch out, but then stick around because I am going to add one last touch. So let's take a look at the sketch. So I told you I was gonna rotate it. I'm really happy with the four by seven or the five by seven photo. And then I love that I still kept the diagonal stars as well as brought in those gold stars. And then, of course, I loved that those little tabs were around the photo, so I kept those by using that thin cut. So if you are new here, one of the things that I just absolutely have to do is every tag that has a hole, I have to fill. So I am just taking some of that scarlet cardstock that I used to back the word big, and I've trimmed tiny little pieces. I am dovetailing the ends. And then basically using that or those for my little ribbons. I am going to glue these down with some liquid adhesive and then come back in just to the ends and add some 3D foam. And it's going to add just a little bit of dimension and then also make it look like it's really ribbon. You know how ribbon just kind of floats in the air? That is what I'm hoping to do with the 3D foam tape in behind those little tails. So there isn't much left to do with this layout. So before you go, I want to remind you, if you liked what you saw, please leave a comment and definitely give me a thumbs up. It helps YouTube show you more of the same and it helps my little channel out in the process. If you aren't already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications. I'll be popping on throughout the month of October, 
playing with the 30 days of sketches as much as possible. Enjoy these close-ups of this layout and our trip to the big city. I'll leave links down below not only to the 30 days of sketches playlist, but all of the products that I used. There are some brand new products that I used, of course, that freshly baked, as well as some other things. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching and have a wonderful weekend.